Seaweed is the common name for countless species of marine plants and algae that grow in the ocean as well as in other water bodies. Seaweeds are known as the wonder plants of the sea. They are the new renewable source of food, energy, chemicals and medicines with manifold nutritional, industrial, biomedical, agriculture and personal care applications. Various versions of seaweed are used in laboratories, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, paper, paint and processed foods. Seaweed has long been sourced by the food industry for its stabilizing properties. Seaweed products such as agar gel can withstand high temperatures. Agar gel is used as a stabilizer and thickener in pie fillings, icings and marans. As it is tasteless, it does not interfere with the flavor of the food and in ice creams it is used to inhibit the crystallization of ice. Agar agar, the main ingredient in Faluda and Jigadanda, is a seaweed based product. Carrageenan, another seaweed product, is an additive used to thicken, emulsify and preserve food and drinks. Alginate, another extract, is used in restructured and reformed food products such as chicken nuggets. As a binder and emulsifier, it helps meat retain its shape. The seaweed extract, when injected into meat, helps retain its moistness and freshness. Researchers say that an extract from seaweed also helps in the faster germination of seeds. As organic farming becomes the buzzword, seaweed is becoming the fertilizer of the future. Aquagri, a private seaweed processing unit in Tamil Nadu's Mana Madurai town, has come up with a product derived from the sap of red and brown algae. This acts as a bioenhancer and stimulates the internal growth of plants. In medicine, research shows a lot of exciting possibilities. Seaweed can be used as a main ingredient in various nutraceutical products from anti-obesity tablets to anti-arthritic and anti-diabetic pills. India is slowly opening up to the possibilities in the seaweed industry. The government has come up with an investment of nearly 640 crore. It hopes to increase seaweed production to 10 crore tons by 2025. But the seaweed-based industries are not functioning up to their rated capacity due to short supply of raw materials. Earlier, seaweed was collected by fishermen through natural harvesting. It was only in 2000 that seaweed was collected through the bamboo raft method on an experimental basis in India. Now, the shoreline in places including Mandapam in Tamil Nadu's Rameshwaram are dotted with floating farms of seaweed. Fisherwomen in these regions have been trained in cultivating a species of seaweed called Capaficus alveresii that yields carrageenan. Economically, seaweed has empowered women in and around Rameshwaram. It is cultivated 9 months in a year and harvested every 45 days. 1 kilo of dried seaweed fetches rupees 50 to rupees 55. The cultivation is less labor intensive and less technology driven, and it has been taken up by almost 600 women in the region. 
Industries related to seaweed processing also have a huge potential for those specializing in microbiology, chemistry and food technology. Tapping into this unrealized potential is the blue revolution that the government is hoping for. But increasing production is the challenge. The quantity of seaweeds available currently is inadequate to meet the raw material requirement of Indian seaweed industries. According to scientists, the reason behind the slow decline in production is the continuous seaweed cultivation that has been going on for the past two decades, resulting in reduced virility of the seeds.